yo, hey, yo, hey, yo. I didn't do an intro for the video, so that's your intro. If you didn't like it, too bad. Enjoy the video. Okay guys, so this video is gonna be about my POTS flare up. I went to the hospital, had an inpatient stay, things went south from there. Ha, <laughs> hint the name, Aurora South. <laughs> sure. Okay, so like I said, things went south and I ended up leaving the hospital and I couldn't walk. My POTS is postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. So basically my heart rate changes positions from laying down to sitting up or from sitting up to standing up. My heart rate goes super high and my blood pressure plummets. And so this results into me fainting, which you guys will see in this video of me passing out. So enjoy. And if you have a weak stomach or like you don't, don't wanna see me passing out, then skip this video and wait for next week's video. But until then, enjoy this video. This is what I did during my POTS flare up. It's horrible, because I couldn't walk, but hey, we made the best of it. Enjoy the video, guys. Peace out. really having issues with pots and what I mean by that is wheelchair bound. So I'm in my wheelchair being pushed. I 
eat okay. a bente dragon mango dragon fruit. Okay. And I need a bente. He has a like, ball in his mouth. Or a camera. Hey, look at him go. Sometimes I think it would be cool to be a monkey. Or a monkey. No, like him. They were moving. <laughs> the wheelchair? freaking six foot kid to get in. It's funny how you say kid, but you have the hairstyle that looks like Elvis right now, so. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go back through. I bought some donations, color pencil donations. There's 34, but he wants to do it the hard 26, way. <laughs> 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm gonna try to walk. We'll see how this shit goes. Sorry, not kid proofed. Put her arm around your neck. So if she goes down, you have her. I have her if she goes down. <laughs> oh, that's a, oh, my legs feel like jello. Oh, oh. I've got her. I don't like this. Go forward. Mm. Take a deep breath. No! Oh. <laughs> so I stay hooked up to my feet. They go in through here. So I'm doing some uh electrolytes to get me to start feeling better the red bag i'm starting to do that to start getting feeling better and hopefully get to walking and then i just rest in here and watch tv basically i just rest lay here occasionally i'll get up and do some slime 
And other than that, I rested here and whatever we have planned for that day is what it is. So we had to go to the ER because I kept passing out and having these weird little spells. I'm currently in the observation unit of the ER, meaning I'm going to be here overnight, staying the night in the ER, and they're going to have physical therapy come talk to me um, and see if there's anything we can do at home or if potentially getting me into a rehab facility to um, be able to gain strength in my legs and my body to get back up and walking so that's kind of where we're at in this crazy week because i have no life and i don't know what else to do with myself while i'm in the er observation room waiting for a room upstairs. This is what I like to do as a 2B. G-tube, I am hooked up to suction. And if you follow the line, they get to that canister. My goal was to fill it, and I've already and almost she succeeded. there. Not yet, almost. All right guys, so like, I know you guys seen that I was impatient. I ended up impatient for literally two days to be told literally the day after I was up on the floor that I was getting discharged. Nothing happened. Nothing really happened about this admission. It was stupid. It was pointless and it was freaking worthless. IV fluid and that's it. And then get told that it's all in my head as usual. But stupid. I'm a spitfire, and I may, I may have cussed the doctors out. So that happened. Okay, guys, I haven't done an update in like forever, and I thought I would since there is a major discovery in my new pots of answer. Major discovery. What are we talking about? Like fossil finding? I don't know. No. <laughs> Guys, I can walk, but it's pretty hilarious how I walk and how I do it. I don't know how to walk. I can walk, but I don't know how to do it. So, let that next footage be that. <laughs> It looks like. I got it. How do you do? Okay, got it? Yep. Recording you exactly. <laughs> this is pathetic. Light on the ice okay. and two slices of the banana nut bread warmed, please. Perfect. <laughs>
Okay guys, so we found a baby squirrel. I mean, not a baby squirrel, an adolescent squirrel. And we're taking it to Planned Pet Hood and they're gonna take it from there to a rehab facility to get this little guy some treatment. He, from our understanding, it looks as if he has a broken um, leg. So we're going to do that. Okay guys, so now that you've seen the squirrel, the little guy, we're gonna get him help, but we gave him a name, Thumper. We gave him that name because we think his back leg is broke or injured in some way, and the way he was jumping and trying to jump into the trees and everything, it didn't work very well for him. So he's gonna be our little Thumper. So I didn't, I left you guys hanging and I wanted to let you guys know that I am 100% back up and walking and I don't look like a freaking newborn chicken trying to walk or a newborn deer trying to walk and falling. Um, I'm back up to walking. My pots is a little bit more under control. We found out different ways to manage it and doing um, different medications and stuff. So I'm doing so much better. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little pots flare up a video. It wasn't really much. I didn't record much because there was just too much going on and I was too, really wasn't a lot for me to video or anything. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, peace out.